Today we're going to try out this new pumpkin soup recipe, so please come along and join us. Hi everyone, I'm Bruguette. And I'm Grant. And today we are going to make a pumpkin soup. So he's doing a double batch and cut up a thousand grams of pumpkin. So because there's a lot of space in between the carrots there and they're frozen, we're just putting in almost two cups instead of a half a cup, but it calls for a small carrot normally for one batch. So now you're preparing two onions, you're peeling them, you're going to cut them up for the soup. And you said you're, from the recipe that I'm going to post, it's a double batch what you're making, right? Mm hmm Okay. So the recipe calls for a teaspoon of garlic, a teaspoon of ginger, but we took the dry product instead. So we're looking at the recipe, we need uh, half a teaspoon of black pepper here, and half a teaspoon, quarter teaspoon of nutmeg powder, and red, half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, salt to taste. So we're doing a double batch, so we have to do a little bit of math here, and yeah, that's what we're doing right now. You're going to prepare the pan now to roast the pumpkin and the carrots. Okay, the butter is in there. So we're sauteing the onions right now. Mm -hmm. You look like a real chef. No, thank you very much. So honey, you're going to prepare the pot with two liters of vegetable broth. So we're using the, a gluten-free and no added sugar, no artificial coloring or flavor vegetable broth. So this one is a very good one. We buy it at Costco and it also says organic. So now we added the liquid and the soup is cooking for a while. So the soup is cooking until the veggies are tender. So from, from one pumpkin that costs $2.50, we've got six bags of side dish here that we're going to freeze. Plus this soup, the double batch recipe, which will also be good for a few days or we'll have to freeze some of the soup too. And also, this side dish for tonight. Now, oh, hi, we're back here today, and uh, yeah, it's a new day. And uh, so what I'm going to do today is that I'm going to take all my soup that I made, and I'm going to stick it into the blender and blend it, because it's a cream soup. So that's what I'm going to start doing, and that's it for now. So that's all of it. Yeah. And we're gonna do a taste test in a minute. Yeah. After we heat it up. Okay, we warmed up the soup. Okay, I come on. Yes, now I'm recording. Okay, go, 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 go. Do the taste the, I got my spoon. the test. <laughs> okay. Here's the big reveal. And mm -mm, good. Got a nice little bite to it from the red pepper. Hope you enjoy it. Like the recipe if you make it. And please give us a like and a subscribe. And please subscribe <laughs> to help us to build our channel. Thank you. 
So here's the recipe and if you don't like too spicy then leave out the red pepper flakes.